How common is colon cancer? Colon or large bowel cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death in the United States. Every year, colon cancer kills more people in the United States than either breast cancer or prostate cancer. The American Cancer Society estimates that colon cancer will kill 57,000 Americans in 2001. Not even breast cancer or prostate cancer will kill this many people. In fact, colon cancer is so common that one out of every 18 Americans will develop colon cancer in his or her lifetime. That's why all major health care groups recommend that everyone over age 50 be tested for colon cancer. Your doctor has recommended the stool hidden blood test for you. The stool hidden blood test works like this. A colon cancer starts out as a small growth called a polyp. Over years, a polyp slowly grows into a cancer. If caught early, a polyp can be easily removed before it turns into cancer. The problem is a polyp or even a small colon cancer causes no symptoms. You have no way of knowing if you have one. But sometimes a polyp bleeds. Often it bleeds such a little amount that you can't see the blood with your own eyes. But the stool hidden blood test can find these small drops of blood. That is why your doctor is giving you a stool hidden blood test kit. A staff member will give you the test kit to take home after you finish this Now let's talk about preparing for the stool hidden blood test. When collecting your stools for the hidden blood testing, you will need to collect a sample from three separate bowel movements. The hidden blood test card has three separate flaps. You will use one flap for each bowel movement. If you are having your menstrual period, have bleeding from hemorrhoids, or see blood in your urine, wait at least three days after the bleeding stops before collecting your stool samples. Beginning seven days before you collect your stools, do not take more than one aspirin a day. Also, do not take any non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as ibuprofen, also known as Motrin, or naproxen, also called Aleve. You may take Tylenol or acetaminophen as needed. Beginning three days before you collect your stools, do not take any vitamin C pills. Also, do not eat any red meats such as beef, lamb, and liver. Do eat a well-balanced diet. You now know how to prepare yourself for the test. Now let's talk about how to collect your samples once you are ready. Begin beginning with the flap marked 1, label the card with your name and the date you are collecting your bowel movement. Open the flap to see the two windows on the card. Next, remove any toilet bowl cleaners and flush twice. Float the tissue collecting paper on top of the water like you see done below. After you collect a bowel movement on the collection tissue, use one of the wooden sticks to get a sample from the bowel movement. Smear the sample in the first window. Then use the stick to get a sample from a different place on the bowel movement. Smear this sample in the second window. Close the cover. Store the cards in the envelope. Be sure to keep them away from bright light, heat, and any chemicals. 
Repeat these instructions for your next two bowel movements to complete the next two cards. You will use the flap marked 2 for your second bowel movement and the flap marked 3 for your third bowel movement. When all three samples are collected, mail the cards in the stamped mailing pouch included in your kit. We know this is a lot of information, so let's briefly review how to prepare yourself for the test. First, beginning seven days before you collect your bowel movements, avoid taking aspirin and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Second, beginning three days before collecting your bowel movements, do not take any vitamin C pills or eat any red meat. Third, make sure you don't see any blood from your menstrual period, hemorrhoids, or in your urine for at least three days. You are then ready to collect your samples. Thank you.